so we have successfully set up the first build pipeline so what we'll do is we ignore what we've done before and then we will configure our own custom pipeline using our visual designer so there it is i select azure repo git and then select the branch and the project i click on continue from there when i click on continue i select the pipeline i want to use the build pipeline i will search for asp.net core targeting.net framework asp.net core targeting.net framework there are a lot of options there but i'll select that asp.net core targeting.net framework then it gives me the options and then i think i'm good to go with all that i will just uh, rename my build pipeline just the steps and do a nugget restore build a solution build a test projects and all that all that then all i have to do here is just edit my build pipeline because i love to have it very very customized okay so i just call it windforscope web api ci all right so with that set i can save but first i need to set the triggers the triggers basically say when there's a new code commits in the repository in the branch master it will trigger a build on this pipeline so i save and queue and then this is a manual queue so the build process should start from right there when i click that you will see it starts the build process just like we saw in the other video uh, just something like that here just that we had to set the build processes manually ourselves here okay that takes a couple of seconds to minutes depending on the bulk of your solution and then it goes on and on and on i'll just wait till that finishes so we can see the whole process and nothing is hidden from us Okay. so that basically takes a couple of seconds you can go ahead continue writing your code and pushing once you're good to go with all that it's all fine and good that goes on and on and on and on you can see the summary also over there Should be done now in a couple of seconds to minutes just waiting around for it to finish up So I think I'll pause here and then we'll continue once it's completed. Okay, now the build is almost complete and then we see that green bot that green icon signifying that the build is completed and then I think we are good to go now and then configure our release for this. So you can see the task there. You can see the summary. Just checking around there. Okay, so the next step will be to configure our release. I go to the releases tab because, as you can see, there's no release pipeline configured yet. So I click on that, and then I can configure this. So I select Azure App Service Deployment, I apply that, and I decide to rename it. I love to give things a name that I think I like. And then, yeah, I give it the name I 
want. And then just a little note here. Uh, I should set the trigger for the uh, release to set up. So I will select all that. So once there's a new build on that pipeline, on the CI pipeline, that's when I want to push my release up. And then you know when I select that trigger, once I activate that first toggle that says, oh yeah, then I'll be good to go with that. And then I select my job face. So I will need so here I just want to say you can configure approvals. Let's say you don't want the release to go live onto someone approves it, probably your manager or team manager, you can set that right in there. Just put the email address of the person to perform the approval process right in there. Okay. So that about that. Then I configure the job process. Here now I need to authorize myself. I need to authorize to push the application to Azure. So what needs to happen is that the account that will push this must be a global ad administrator on the subscription to push to Azure. So in a few seconds, I'll just go over and set this user as a global admin on the Azure subscription. As you can see, I can't do anything right here until I do that. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. So I've configured that. Then as you can see now, I'll see the subscription active. And then I will have to authorize that just a few seconds and then it connects me to that subscription once that is done i'll be able to select the application i actually want to deploy my app service to that is ready to go it's a web application of course i select that and then i select the app i want to publish to i select i've already created that in azure for that i may probably do another video on how to create app service in azure and all that so I select that and then I just go ahead and save. That's all I need to do. So what happens now is once there's a new build in my application, I will go ahead and publish. Right, so that build is already on. As you can see, it should complete any moment from now. So once that bit is complete, the app goes on. So I'll just pause the visit and come back when the build is complete. All right, so build is done. And then I should be able to go to the release pin now to see the progress of my release. The deployment will automatically be triggered once there's a new build, okay? So I will go ahead to the release tab. And then I should be able to see that it has automatically triggered. So I don't have to wait in Visual Studio and write click publish and wait till all the files are uploaded. I write my code, I debug once I'm fine with it, I commit the code to the repository, and then the build and deployment just goes ahead without me having to worry about it failing or something. Okay. And then yeah, I should be able to see that right now. So deployment process is going on. To complete any moment from now. Then once it succeeded, this blue button should go and uh, turn green. And then it should almost be done in about 15 seconds. And then we're good. So build release done so what we have to do now is to test and see if our api is actually live so i've configured a custom domain in azure for that already so i just go to that custom domain now that's api.wonforcecorp.com uh, but because it's a web api there's no view to it so i should see an error 404 that is very good it shows it's working <laughs> Don't worry. So I just go to the API reference. So uh, I've customized it. So I put swagger here. So I just go to docs dash API docs. That's I customized that basically. 
So I can see my API working now, working just quite fine. Mappy, I can see all the employees that were preloaded in the application. As you can see right there, I have all of them right in there. And then of course I can post an employee. That means I can add an employee to the list. I just clear out some of the details that are really not needed. Once that is cleared up, I will be able to do my posts. So I just edit the details. And then I execute. Oops, I think there's an error there. I missed something. Oh, I missed something let me go back and fix that all right i missed the uh, closing semi what's it the quotes mark and then i execute again and then i'm good so you can see so i can check and see that employee right now with that id when i go get so i try it out i put the id then i execute and then you can see all is fine and good thanks for watching very much see you